welcome all i'm very happy uh, to introduce dr dr nagendra and uh, this is actually his story is uh, very different very peculiar from others because i had talking to him last day and he got uh, aims rank 1 and uh, to your knowledge and he uh, was actually got a good rank in neat and he joined uh, uh, his dm also so this is a totally different story uh, and this is a story of perseverance and how the hard work and perseverance help you to gain such a success so nagendra welcome and how uh, do you yeah. feel uh, the first of all i am overwhelmed sir not uh, sure what to talk sir in the present time was not expecting rank number 1 sir <laughs> that to aims rank number 1 means there is that is there is a the greatest thing you can achieve in like for getting a dm neuro the best thing you can get aims rank 1 yes sir and so uh, how was your journey and uh, can you can you let me know like let, let me introduce you uh, you did from uh, siddhartha medical college your mbbs yes sir i did my mbbs from siddhartha medical college and uh, md medicine i did from kmc mangalore uh, branch sir and you are from which place i am from bangalore sir bangalore bangalore okay mm-hmm. then after that uh, in uh, after finishing md medicine then uh, immediately i got in neat ssr then i took in dm in a government like top institute sir then around 6 7 months i worked sir uh, but then i uh, like uh, was not full happy sir i wanted uh, like central institute exposure so then i quit the course sir then again 3 4 months uh, i prepared again in medicine part and neurology part and uh, oh, finally cracked the exam sir yeah that is what i was telling in the beginning this is a first candidate time interviewing i think i had not introduced anyone like that who got a reasonably very good uh, dm seat in a neat ss and uh, he has a courage to leave it and take another exam because that proves that uh, how much hard work and how much confidence you have in yourself and after that getting rank one in aims is really 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 appreciable uh, effort and uh, how was your preparation basically how did you prepare for last neat and how did you prepare for this ss uh, any sir, difference uh, uh no sir actually like basically last neat uh, also like uh, i had marrow video notes sir on neurology all the uh, around 120 125 videos were there sir around uh, 1 110 to 115 videos i could make we are notes last time sir and uh, also other subjects main subjects cardiology and other main subjects i had made notes sir and one other from harrison also i had notes with me sir and uh, these two were my primary preparation of source for neat ss that time sir uh, but uh, uh, neuro part i didn't consider it much more at that time but uh, this time in the last 3 4 months uh, uh, mainly thoroughly i prepared uh, new, uh, neuro on this sir mainly from the uh, videos of marrow which was a concise version of bradley sir really and uh, how did you like like what made you think that uh, i mean it is a very difficult situation to take to very, very very difficult decision to make when you have a reasonably good dm seat and you are joined you will feel totally uh, relieved because when you enter a dm you will have that feeling that okay now i am done or i don't have much more entrance to take uh, then suddenly you decided to leave it and to continue with again with uh, another like another exam so that requires a lot of courage so what made you think like that whether it was an easy decision for you or a tough decision for you and what made you think to leave the dm seat in a uh, government hospital and to take a uh, i mean institute uh, it was a, not an easy decision sir it was a tough decision actually like uh, people, people were telling like you already have a good seat uh, why i want to leave it but then in my back of my mind uh, considering like i live in bangalore sir like the level of competition i thought like uh, and the exposure sir i attended a few aims uh, like uh, where they have uh, journals or something like that sir and then i saw their uh, the approach how they approach the cases and uh, the work up they have basically sir then everything after this all i made into decision sir yeah that is because i think like when you got exposed into neurology much more you realized uh, you might have realized in yourself that this is something which you actually want to get yes sir Yes, and uh, and how was your preparation like uh, for the last i think you had for 3 4 months right yes sir 3 4 months uh, okay, preparation, preparation? Sir, basically neurology sir your video part uh, i uh, say, uh, saw the cerebrovascular and the epilepsy which are very vast uh, sir and also the dementia or the autoimmune nmo and uh, ms and then also the mcq question sessions were very uh, helpful sir they were crisp and very short sir 
uh, of the which kind of like uh, topics like leukodystrophy which are not covered and which are asked in central institutes were very well covered sir and all the uh, topics also like the myopathy especially sir i liked it all the distal myopathy the way you made it easier for us to remember like well entry is like a well upper limb you do and uh, myoshi no shin involvement and uh, this all were really helpful to keep the things sir because this to i and i felt the paper was a bit more factual sir than conceptual so all these things help i believe sir and along yes. with that uh, yes Different. sir yes sir yeah you were telling something can you uh, yeah along with that medicine this time i was a bit a bit unexpected sir they asked some few uh, a, uh, areas like aging and all which were unexpected questions in medicine sir and uh, you were telling that you had gone through uh, the neuro part very well through the neuro videos and yes, for ina actually the questions are in depth questions will come actually your dm i mean you are going to study the dm you will realize that these areas also you had got questions in uh, the previous neat or this neat or some somewhat like that because it is very in depth questions will come and how did you manage your medicine uh, when you have you, you were you were walking in a dm like if you were doing a course for last uh <coughs> maybe uh, six seven months so you might have lost a touch with general medicine a little bit and then how did you revise your medicine part oh uh, yeah sir uh, that was the main uh, difficulty sir like the uh, six seven months of the entire neurology made me forget a bit of medicine sir then uh, daily uh, around four to five hours i used to uh like um, uh, uh, read tables from uh, harrison's mainly so for uh, medicine part harrison was my main sir i didn't do any special for that because i didn't have that much time sir and what about the question banks and other things did you did you follow that also yes, sir. The... all the question banks i had done and all the neat uh, the mock tests also were really helpful sir and uh, the ranks also were almost similar sir what we got there and all the all the explanations were there and the compared to last time and this time sir mcq have improved a lot sir because last time when i took wrote neat tests sir that time when mcqs were there it was very few topics had mcq sir but this time all, all topics had very clinical oriented factual and all combined mix of mcq sir so mcqs were a big addition this time i feel sir and uh, uh, like when when you when you when you i think you started uh, i mean with watching marrow videos and preparation when you were in the md time only like maybe in the first year or second year or third year which year you started oh. like the third year i started sir not in the first and second year first and first year went with was difficult sir second year went in covid only sir entire covid and third yeah. year had some more time uh, in, uh, so started from third year sir watching so, the videos when when you were preparing for like you before you were planning for taking dm no at that time also your idea was to take neurology or you just want so, to study uh, it that time i was not uh, decided sir that time so i uh, i and i which branch to take i had not decided sir like uh, finally like uh, i got around 150s rank sir but then uh, like uh, finally uh, by the moment i had decided i'll take neurology all the ini exams were completed sir so uh, so you what made you like uh, okay you thought like okay i want to take neurology because it's something very very new for me also like you were having you were not deserved subject and then you went to neurology and they take the neurology seat then you want to do neurology in the best, best place in india mm-hmm. So, so there is a large amount of shift in your view towards a subject so what 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 made about what made, what changes has made and what is the reason for that the so neurology basically i thank my like md medicine from manipal sir all the staff which were there and they were all more inclined towards neuro sir and uh, their teachings and clinical uh, i feel neurology is one subject which has more clinical aspect into it sir so that is what uh, uh, inspired me sir to take up neurology yeah actually maybe uh, maybe i am a neurologist and i love neurology that is a reason but i always feel that neurology is one branch which is very close which is almost like almost you need much more clinical skill than a physician or a md medicine to practice neurology neurology is even though all the subjects move away from the uh, clinical side they all are investigational based treatment but right, even now neurology is pretty 100% clinical you have plenty of investigation but you have to have a clinical diagnosis then only you can go forward that is something which also made me also like uh, neurology and that is the reason why most places in md medicine neurology is the male i mean the one you will get maximum exposure also and that is something mm. that is very close to uh, medicine also yes sir true sir you, you hardly see like in as an adult md medicine you hardly see um, uh, very much endocrinologists you won't see in all places 
you won't see mm. much rheumatology cases in all places you may see in some few few institutes but mm. other places this will go to the specialist you won't see much cases you may just diagnose it but uh, just think of the diagnosis rheumatologist will come and he will evaluate and he will take over the case that is what actually happens in the practical level and uh, and about the uh, about the plan like you want to know you are going to aims did you have any plans like okay you want you you wanted aims for a reason you told that you you, you listen to some of the discussion and you understood that how, how what is the level of neurology and what is the difference of neurology they are teaching <clears throat> whether you have any plans like now that uh, okay if i want to go to aims neurology i uh, i would like to pursue my uh, pdf for postdoctoral fellowship in sub separate that this area i want or something like that is it because you already have like i mean bit interested towards in vascular so like yes, all the, me- the procedures mechanical from victimy and all the things but yeah, because yeah. you already had around 6 months exposure to uh, neurology yes, core six neurology months exposure yeah, yes sir that's where really i learned how vast neurology is and uh, it's like uh, it's like an ocean on this sir <laughs> see actually when i when i cleared my md medicine and uh, i did md medicine from mysore medical and there we have a good neurology uh, one staff is there so we thought that we have I, i have learned a lot of neurology what is there extra to learn but <laughs> when i joined the course i realized that uh, whatever i learned is nothing and when i cleared my dm even now when i look back and when i on some different cases come and attend some discussions of cme i will realize that neurology is so vast so beautiful subject it is i mean i don't want to talk much about that but uh and uh, how how did uh, mara video you told like you had watched all the videos out of all which which video you like or which session you like not only neurology you have you might have watched cardiology you might have watched other subjects so, so which all things you did you, you like so basically from uh, what i studied for, to get a, get up into neat pg sir was rakesh sir video like uh, that inspired me sir that time medicine part and after now dm time basically mainly <laughs> cardio and neuro i did in marrow sir and hepatology also but part rest of the time rest of the i couldn't get this much much time for this time sir and whether there is any any particular area in neurology like like in the discussion part or the videos uh, you like any particular area in neurology or cardiology something like that oh uh, yes sir is there any suggestions to improve uh like uh, i love the Va- uh, vascular uh, cerebral vascular accidents uh, the approach like to which you bring the anatomy initially then the clinical application of it and uh, all the guidelines uh, you that was very uh, uh, simple sir and even the epileptic encephalopathy sir which is not usually given in uh, harrison or like uh, sir but usually it's asked in central institutes that you are covered really well sir and uh, all the topics uh, i uh, like that sir <laughs> marrow and uh, like you have any advice to like you can actually are the ideal person because uh, you can advise to your like those who are uh, right now doing their D- uh, dm or I mean doing their md uh, whether to you can advise in two ways like you have already exposed how it is need how it is an ini and you have any advice to them or how any way to prepare or anything you have to advise them yes sir i what i'll advise them from my mistake is like sir uh... in the second year and th- or uh, ending or third year beginning if they decide on the branch which they want to uh, do it sir it'll be better so that they can uh, approach well sir because like uh, i and i every six months it comes sir and the paper pattern is at least uh, you can predict it sir but neat ss is un- unpredictable so if they have uh, decided before only which branch they want to pursue in i feel it will be better uh, if they have decided and uh, they follow it sir like a particular subject they want to go through it if they have made a decision yeah. early on the yeah if you like all of you are watching there if you go through the recall sessions which are there in the youtube as well as in the marrow you take any subject i know only neurology part uh, last three years if you take the neat patterns keep on changing every time the question pattern question level the area covered is so unpredictable we may ask one on one, one exam they will ask majority of questions on stroke area next exam they are not asking even a single question on that so you cannot predict for need and as far as that is concerned ini is more predictable even though in that knowledge you need to have and that is very difficult uh, i feel it is very difficult uh, to to go in that depth without any guidance uh, because uh, the neurology is so vast so it is very difficult to go into that unlike any other subject neurology is very difficult subject you cannot uh, you cannot that is not that easy to learn entire neurology in a short time yeah, and uh, uh, so 
uh, like we are i'm very happy to uh, discuss with you all those things and i am actually uh, when uh, you you discussed with me last day uh, you told me that uh, you had got a rank and then you went back and wrote it actually inspired me also like this is actually really really great job man because this is this is many people won't have the courage to do that because even if i am in your situation i will not go for this because uh, i will feel like anyway i am secured any three more two more years of uh, survival in the i mean college where you got a dm i mean a dm in government sector i will be finished and i will be passing out as uh, uh, neurologist but as you are telling yeah that that tells me that you have that much passion towards neurology because you want to learn neurology in the proper way in the maximum possible available uh, source you want to study that is why you even after getting a dm in a relatively good good college you just want to leave it and go to the national institute that proves that how much like you towards a subject nowadays it is actually very difficult to see such candidates because now the pattern is slowly shifting in the way that all the students who is joining the md want to write a neat exam and get according to the ram they will they will they will choose subject i don't know <laughs> that is what is happening actually mm -hmm. yes sir yeah so uh, thank you so much for the session yeah thank and you sir yeah thank you sir i would again like to uh, thank uh, maro for the, all the support sir and one more thing you want you have any suggestions like uh, like we have we can improve that like in the next coming sessions you have any suggestions suggestions uh, like uh, topic wise tests if it fits the uh, available i think that will, will be a bit better sir uh, like yeah. uh, there are subject total neurology wise tests sir but if a topic wise test like epilepsy or stroke like that sub test other i feel it would be a bit better so that is something yeah. which is good good idea we'll, we'll actually discuss with the maro also we'll try to yes, introduce sir. something like that, yeah. and so all the best and yes, uh, good evening and good evening friends you all please uh, please listen to this interview because uh, this is something is really new for me and this is the first time i am interviewing somebody who has that much that much perseverance to get neurology Okay. Thank you sir.